Good afternoon, everyone. It's Edward with you on this Saturday, August 1st. Wanted to give you the latest update that we have for Hurricane Isaias and how it might relate to your travel plans. First and foremost, if you are staying in any Twitty & Company property this week, there are no travel restrictions that affect your stay at this time, 12.30 p.m. Saturday, August 1st. That needs some clarification really because well, what makes it difficult and the reason there's some confusion out there uh, for this is that the Outer Banks resides in three separate counties. So you have Hyde County, which contains Ocracoke Island, Dare County, which extends from, you know, Hatteras Inlet, all of, all of Hatteras Island, all of the Nags Head area up and including the town of Duck. And then you switch over to Curry Duck County, which extends up to the Virginia line in Corova Beach. And so three different counties, different decisions, decisions that affect places differently. Ocracoke was evacuated yesterday at 12 p.m. That makes complete sense. It is an island accessed by ferry only. If conditions deteriorate, ferry travel is impossible. So there you have that. Today, a decision went into effect at 12 p.m. to evacuate Hatteras Island, which is south of the Bass Night Bridge. It travels over Oregon Inlet. That does not, that evacuation does not affect us either. That's only for Hatteras Island. And it's a wise precaution. If you're familiar with the Outer Banks, I'm sure you've heard um, reports of Highway 12 flooding. That's always for South Highway 12, typically south of the Bass Night Bridge through Peanut Pea Island National Wildlife Refuge. So also a wise precaution. Those are the only evacuations that are in place right now. And again, they do not affect any Twitty and Company property. If something were to change, we will let you know immediately. We don't anticipate anything new. There is a control group, emergency management control group meeting tomorrow morning to discuss things further. But we are still in that watch and wait stage where we are watching Isaias very closely to see what he's gonna do. Right now, as it stands, in that cone of uncertainty that we look at, it looks like Tuesday on the Outer Banks is going to be a less than stellar day with potential tropical storm force conditions in our area. That's what we're looking at right now. We will continue to update you as things change, but we just wanted to reiterate, if you are staying in any Twitty and Company managed property, there are no restrictions to your visit at this time. Have a great day. We will be back with you soon.